Here are facts. This is not opinion. This is not my opinion. This is not some broke person's opinion. This is a fact about how to be successful in cryptocurrency, period. Not lose your butt, still double, triple, quadruple your money, and actually be successful and build millions of dollars of wealth over the course of the coming years and decades. You ready for this? I'm going to show you exactly how to invest and build wealth. You apply this to the cryptocurrency space, you will be very successful. There's a bunch of principles here, so buckle up because we've got a lot to talk about. The very first thing I want to talk about is this. If you are investing in something, <clears throat> you are either actually investing in it because you have done your research, you understand it, you have the time to properly steward it and keep track of the ups and downs, the, the, the movement of the coin, the movement of the asset. This applies to anything. We'll talk about it in relation to crypto, but this applies to stocks or real estate or whatever you're gonna buy. You actually have the time to get to know it. The Bible teaches us that knowledge leads to understanding and understanding leads to wisdom. And to grow our finances, we have to be wise. So the first thing is that if you've got 350 altcoins and you don't know what 300 of them do, then you have two choices, sorry, three choices. If you know what they do and you have a plan for investing with them, then you can keep them. If you don't understand them, there are three things that you get to do with those and only three things that are wise. First and foremost, you can label them as gambling. Gambling is a form of enjoying your money. It is not a sin to gamble in the same way it is not a sin to drink alcohol. It is not wrong. What's wrong is when you become addicted to it and it controls you. So if you've got a coin and it's 10 bucks in and it's a moon bag and you're saying, I don't understand this stuff, but it's only 10 bucks. I'm gonna gamble and enjoy this money. Hope it pops off. Treat it like a lottery ticket, then fine. If you don't wanna gamble with it, then you have two other options. Either one, you sell the coin immediately, as in right now, as soon as this video is over, you sell the coin immediately, or two, you start doing your research on the coin immediately and coming up with a plan for when you're gonna take profits on it. And if you're still investing in it, how you're going to invest in it in a rationale. That is one of the first things I want you to understand about investments, is that either one, you understand the investment, you have a plan, you know when you're gonna take profits, how you're gonna take profits, you have a plan for how you're going to put the money in, you understand the taxes you're going to be, um, uh, you're going to be le that are going to be levied on that uh, those capital gains, you understand all of that, or you have the three options. It's a gamble, fine, just make sure it's a very small percentage of your net worth, well under 1%. Or research it right now or sell it right now. That's what you do. Now, step number two. Not so much step number two. These are more so miscellaneous principles that are all very important. You absolutely must be buying and holding. People are trying to get into the trading game well before they master the investment game. There is an order of operations to this. If you are not a successful investor, I don't believe that you have a business being a successful trader or thinking that you're a successful trader. And the reason for that is because investing is lower risk, lower reward. The thing that I like to teach and the thing that I know is the right thing to teach is that you take the lowest risk, still relatively strong reward investment that you can. I'm not saying put all your money in bonds and T-bills and make one or 2% and that's going to be your investment. No, you need to take more risk than that. But paying off your credit card that you're paying 22% APR on, you're going to save normally three, four, five, six dollars of interest for every dollar you pay into that if you were to hold it for the five years. You're going to save a lot of money on interest by paying it off now. With a home, you got a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. It's at 5%. You put a dollar in as principal. You're going to save $3 on interest. That is a guaranteed instant 300% return so long as you're planning on hold, continuing to hold the asset. Okay, so those are ways that you guarantee a return, again, so long as you're planning on not selling the asset, with zero risk. So you do those things. Now, when you're investing in cryptocurrencies, I want you to start in Bitcoin because it's the lowest risk, highest reward. Why? Gold, gold has been had <clears throat> gold had an ETF approved. It rallied for seven years straight, rally of 300%. Bitcoin has had 11 ETFs approved, not one, 11 on the same day, and they've been the most successful ETFs in the history of the entire stock market. It's pretty easy to say that Bitcoin's going to have a successful next few years. I don't think anybody is really debating that at that point. At this point, there are a few people like my good friend Dave Ramsey. Hashtag pray for Dave that still think Bitcoin is a scam. And they are, to use Dave's phrasing, what's known as wrong. Oh, it's so nice to be able to say that back at Dave after all these years of being told that. Anywho, once you have mastered investment, and this is how you invest, by the way, once you've mastered investment, 
then that's where you move into trading. The way you master investment is you set a schedule. I prefer a weekly schedule, but monthly works, especially if you're holding for longer term like you would be in the stock market. In crypto, on a weekly schedule, preferably every Friday, you're going to buy assets that you understand, and you're going to buy more of the assets that have a lower risk but still high reward, like Bitcoin and Ethereum. You're going to hold them preferably if you can for at least 12 months. So you are being taxed at a at a long-term capital gains tax rate, which is always going to be lower than short-term capital gains, which is taxed at your marginal tax rate. And you are going to ladder into those on a weekly basis, and you're going to have a plan for when you get out of them. We just started selling some of our cryptocurrencies, uh, three of them, Near Protocol, Graph, and SHIB. We took out 1% of Graph and Near, and we took out 5% of the SHIB that we had because all three of those positions had more than doubled from our average entry. I think Graph is, what, $7.22? Our average entry was uh, $2.88. I might have that backwards. That might be Near Protocol. I'm getting it backwards. Anyway, point being, we more than doubled our money. I'm going to take 1% as a withdrawal rate, a weekly withdrawal rate is how we're going to calculate it. And then as it goes higher, I'm going to take 2% and then 3% and then 4% and that's my plan. I have a plan for the investments. I have a plan on what I'm going to buy, when I'm going to buy it, how much of it I'm going to buy and then I also have a plan for when I'm going to sell it, how much of it I'm going to sell and at what point I'm going to start selling it. If you try and invest in the cryptocurrency market and you don't do these things, you will fail. You might get lucky. But remember, the difference between gambling and investment is a plan and a plan that can be substantiated with facts historical analysis and data, not, oh, well, I think it's going to do this. No, that's not an investment. That is a gamble. So if you don't have historical analysis, data, a train of thought, oh man, this market's exploding. Look at these numbers. It's absolutely, it's, it's 10x, you know, like you know, I'm investing in mobile phones in 2008. We've got a parabolic uptrend going on in adoption here. That's why I'm buying Apple stock because they're the number one creator of smartphones, right? There's a rationale there. If you don't have those things and you're buying into an asset, you, my friend, have made a mistake. You need to turn around and sell it today and put it in something you understand. And if all you understand is the S&P 500, then that's okay. Millionaires get printed every single day in the S&P 500. So let's stop hating on people that max out their 401ks and Roth IRAs. They're what is known as wise. But I do want you also to do that in cryptocurrency. If you follow these principles in the cryptocurrency space, you will be wildly successful. But they all boil back down to two of our six financial laws, um, laws of money, which is we have a plan, preferably a written plan, and we invest to build wealth at all times, pretty much at all times if we are able to, and we have some of the basic essentials of life covered, we are going to be investing to grow our wealth. And so that's really that simple. If you do these things, you will be successful in cryptocurrency. If you do not do these things, then you will most likely not be successful in cryptocurrency. So please do your own research, have a plan, invest in things that you understand, invest, don't gamble, pay off high yield debt, especially non-mortgage debt, as quickly as you possibly can, because debt is slavery. There's simply no other way to put it. It is bondage, it is slavery, pay it off if you can. And if you're interested in learning more about this, I do financial coaching and we will be re we are working on courses teaching on these matters of investment and building wealth. And if you do what I teach, within seven to 10 years, you're almost certainly gonna be a millionaire. That things can happen, I can't guarantee that. You know, I can't guarantee your work ethic, I can't guarantee the world will be here tomorrow. But again, I can guarantee that you are setting yourself up with the greatest possible likelihood of becoming a millionaire and more importantly, staying a millionaire than any other system that differentiates itself from what I'm teaching has ever done or will ever do in the history of the world. All these things are given, are, are shown to me in the Bible. And remember, all success begins with a personal and daily walk with the Lord Jesus Christ and everything that he teaches. Because the fear of the, fear, excuse me, because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all, because the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs 1 7. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's go make some millions. Peace. Oh, and happy Good Friday. <laughs>